A second monarch habitat restoration site in Leonard County on Fallbrook Road. And I'm just wondering why all of this wild parsnip in there is looking like it's dying. And I thought they couldn't possibly have sprayed in this site, would they? And and then I see damaged goldenrod and drooping goldenrod. So not just parsnip has been affected. Some brown-eyed Susans look like they they're okay over there. But I just keep walking here and that goldenrod looks okay, but over here it's all drooping and so is the pollen over there. So it's been sprayed. More asters and goldenrod here sprayed. Um, that part doesn't look affected too much except for the parsnip. But look at this. This has all been sprayed. The mullen drooping, dying here. Unless that was done on purpose because mullen isn't native. I just don't understand why these plants couldn't be hand pulled. There's absolutely no reason why they couldn't have come here and hand pulled like we do on our adopted roads. Look at this. Poison in the Monarch Restoration Site, which is, by the way, adjacent to a soybean field. Never a good spot. I don't know what to think anymore. And by the way, Lanark County just received over half a million dollars to continue their restoration. So all they had to do was hire some people and pull these plants out. Could have done it in 30 minutes instead of applying poison.